The Workflows tab allows you to create, enable, and manage workflows in XMatters. Workflows and their associated forms are key components of XMatters powerful messaging functionality. Workflows are a way to group the related forms and flows that manage your communication processes. For example, you may have a workflow named IT Outages that contains a number of forms like email server maintenance and network down and so on to address IT outage situations. In turn, the forms and flows can include information about who to notify and how, message and response content, what integrations are triggered, and more. Everything you need to automate, collaborate, and resolve incidents and situations quickly and accurately. To create a new workflow, click the Create button and either create a new custom workflow or explore the available workflow templates. Workflow templates allow you to select from pre-built workflows focusing on a single tool. Custom workflows will allow you to create an empty workflow in which you can create your own forms, properties, messages, and responses using any combination of tools your teams use. To get started with the new custom workflow, just give it a name, an optional description, and click Create. By default, new workflows aren't enabled, but you can easily enable them using the toggle. Keep in mind that workflows also need at least one active form to be usable. At the top, we can filter our view to show only workflows we can edit, or all workflows available in our XMatters instance. You can import backed up workflows using the Import Plan button. To back up a workflow you've already made, click the gear icon and select Export. New workflows are only editable by the user who created them. You can make them editable by all users by selecting Editor Permissions and All Users. Or you can search for specific users, roles, or groups to add them to the permissions list to make them editable by only these entities. If you're receiving too many notifications from a workflow, you can simply toggle the notification flood control on, which will suppress duplicate notifications over the allowed threshold set in your flood control options. To permanently delete a workflow, click the gear icon and select Delete and confirm your deletion. This isn't reversible, so make sure you really want to delete it or that you've backed up the plan by downloading it first. To get started with XMatters workflows yourself, sign up for free at xmatters.com free. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, I hope you'll consider giving it a like and subscribing. Have a great day.